we got an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a temperature warning. Today in this video, we are going to show you how to fix temperature warning issues that happen on your iPhone. Hi, it's DGSM solution. Let's enter into fix it. We insert the charger, iPhone is powered on. Why did this happen and what is the solution? We discuss the main cause and the final solution too. The iPhone is open like normal and the display goes blank. Here you can see a temperature warning message the iPhone needs to be cooled down before you can use it. You can only use the emergency button. Let's disassemble the LCD first. Disconnect all flex and take out PCB. If this heats more, then the circuit automatically shows such message. Let's check first. The problem came from various reasons. Water damage, falsely trapped or any hardware defect on your iPhone. In our cases, after only power it, on then it shows a problem. Such a problem must be shown on hard drop iPhones related to thermistor issues. PCB status looks normal and no sign of water damage. There is no prior repair sign too. Remove all this first. I am here using a preheater, temperature used 160 and use a hot gun from the upper side. We first only work with preheater, mostly best band related issues and Wi-Fi related issues appears. Let's separate the PCB first. After 2-3 minutes of use, then this message shows means there is a problem with some ICs. Oh no! Here you can see the pin was broken from the upper board. Too many pins are broken. This real cause for the issue is the both pin. If your iPhone is not heating, then broken both or one pin. Then such issue happens. In that case, you have to make pin or be careful on this pin. Here on the pads, there is the NTC pin that work as a thermistor sensor, heat thermal. Let's clean the lower board. Pin must be flat and shiny. If you face a problem cleaning this pad, then use low temperature solder paste. Resolve it and clean it. Here you can see all broken pin are complete with a jumper and most have ground. So you can skip this pin.
Here on the pads, there is the anti-seat pin that work as a thermistor sensor heat thermal. Then rival lower PCB. This must be the same in height. Clean both ones. Put some flux. Let's swing both PCB. Let's keep one center touch. Cool down the PCB for 5 minutes. Connect all flex and LCD. The phone is powered on. Let's check whether the problem was fixed or not. There is no such message appear on the screen means the problem was fixed. This is the simple process by which you can easily fix your over temperature issues on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe for the most useful content and share with friends if this solve your issues. Thanks for watching, it's me your friend Akas, peace out, see you on the next one.